Hi, I'm Max. Long have I waited for this one, because today I will be showing you how to build Hogwarts Express. And as always, before we start, please consider like and subscribe. And you can check out my Patreon for the download for all my builds. And a huge thank you to Creative Holix team for providing me with the Creative Holix mod pack for this build. And now, with the latest version, we have an updated Steam and Rails. You can check it out on our website. The link will be in the description. Now let's build. Now, for disclaimer, this is not gonna be a 100% accurate model. It just isn't practical, but I'll try my best to make this train evolve to Hogwarts Express aesthetic. So, the first front bogey. We'll use a medium standard. One deep slate on the front, and 10 blocks in the back. Now for the drive wheels, if you have an extended bogeys or flywheels, you can absolutely go for that. I'm sure it'll look better with those. But for now, I'm just gonna use an ordinary flywheels. I know the real train has 460 wheel config, but since we're using a flywheel, it's best if we add another bogey in the back. So it looks better in the turn. You can barely notice the wheel. Another chisel deep slate layer on top. Now we'll be doing a pilot. We have buffers on the side and a coupler in the middle. And dye the buffers to red. And here will be the piston housing. And a coupling rod. And for the firebox here, I'll use a red slash look metals. And now the foot plate. And now we use a copycat headstock as a name plaque. You can hold shift and place the boiler half block higher. And now the real boiler. Range the front one to make it look like a smoke box. A name tag on the front. Press Alt with Smokestack. Now we can choose the one with the brass tip. Steam whistle in the back here. Now use a shaft as a pipe running along the boiler. Let's dye the smoke color to white. Now we we'll replicate that on the other side. Next up, the cab. Gonna need a copper cap panels for the wall. And now the roof. The roof is mostly going to be a deep slate texture.
Alright, now let's decorate the inside. Place down the controls and seats. The gauges and valves. And extend the floor out a bit. Ladder on the side. And there's our locomotive. Now we need a tender. We'll go with a medium for or for trailing for the wheels. On the side of the bed, it's mostly going to be a deep slate slabs. And shafts and brackets beside the bogies. A red slashed metal for the shape in the back. And this for separating the bunker and cab. Use the copycat steps on the edge here. And let's make it a slope a bit more with the trapdoors. Right, now we put up a wall with the panels. And on the top here would be a headstock. A placard in the middle here. And the rest last on the rest. Fill out the bunker with coal. And down here we need a couplers and a buffers. Dye it to red. And there's the whole engine ready. Now, the carriages. And we will use an arch bar of the bogey. Switch it up to girders and a basin. And a repeat in the back. And the rest of the side would be a copycat panels with a grey wool texture. Stepping stairs for the door. A couple of buffers in the back. Now we're going to start the wall with the frame panels. Have this one be a flat red rivet. And now I'm gonna make a gangway.
with rectangle grey wool for the texture, shaft, girders, and a trap door on the top. Alright, and now we do the same on the front. Okay, now it's starting to take shape. And let's do the roof next. It is gonna be very similar to the cap. The side I will use a chisel deep slate for the texture. And now the wall. Leave this cutout for the door. We'll have it be a red grass wrapped in this layer. Flat red riveted. And the windows. And the chisel deep plate on the top. Alright, and now we do the same on the other side. And that is the exterior finished. But I'm gonna make another two more carriages. Now for the interior, let's start in the back. Adding a texture here with a dark oak and a white terracotta. We have three rooms in this carriage. A lot of funnels for decorations, as well as a lamp. Now I know see for the real train is blue, greenish tint, and since we don't have that, I will go with the brown for now. Add a locker drag above the seat. We will continue the dark oak texture and place down the door. Now we do the same for the other two rooms. Let's do something about the ceiling here. Much better. Alright, that is one car finished. And you can have the next car be the same as the previous car. Or we can change it up a bit. I'm just gonna knock down one room.
and I'm gonna have this be a luggage area instead. There we go. Now, the last car, I'll have it be the seats facing each other. The texture is gonna be a bit different. Lamps and funnels in the vestibule. Now we add a panels on the ceiling. And in between the windows, we'll make it a glowstone. And for this, we'll add a detailed dark oak. and place a carpet down the aisle Now we have seats, a table, and a luggage rack And that is all for the interior. Now let's glue the whole train. Another trapdoor right here in case the glue didn't stick to the name plaque. Right, should be ready for assemble now. And we're all done. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this build, and by the way, we have just hit 10,000 subscribers, so I thank you all you lovely people on YouTube and Patreon for the support, we sure can get here without you all, and also thank you to Creator Hawks team for the mod pack, I'll have the link in the description, 
Have a nice day to you all, and I'll see you in the next one.